What's up guys? I got some bad news. So, it was a little scary. Luckily I had enough space between me and the car in front of me to maneuver. You can see there's brake fluid down there. And what happened was we were coming up to a red light. I hit the brakes. To, um, it started to stop for a second and then all of a sudden I just like felt it burst. And my foot went to the floor and I hurried up and I pulled up the e-brake and I went into the left lane like really quickly and didn't hit the car in front of me. I could have you know went off to the right or the left to avoid hitting them but there was nobody in the left lane so I pulled in the left lane and then I was able to stop before the light um, actually well before the light I just used the e-brake to pull into this local store and now I'm waiting for Jenna to come get me so I uh, aired up the front of the car really high so I could take a look and it was actually my fault so when I put the axle in last time the brake lines are, I'm still using DX brake lines with the Integra brakes, um, which despite what people say you can do, they don't fit the greatest, but they do work. But the bracket doesn't bolt up, so you have to zip tie the brake line to the knuckle. And I cut that zip tie when I replaced the axle and I forgot to replace that zip tie. So the brake line was rubbing against the wheel and it rubbed through the brake line. And that's what happened. And that's what happens when you rush through things um, and you don't pay attention. It can obviously create a very dangerous situation. So learn from my mistakes and double check your work when you're all done. What's going on guys? It's a few days later. I got some new brake lines in. So sorry I didn't really explain too much when it had just happened. I was still kind of in the heat of the moment. Uh, a little bit in shock because um, it was really sketchy. So. Let me try to explain what happened a little bit better. So I was coming up to a red light. There were cars in front of me and everybody was slowing down for the red light. Nobody was slamming on their brakes or anything. Well, I went to stop and I was stopping and then all of a sudden I felt like, I don't know, it almost felt like it popped or something like that and my foot just went to the floor. I did still have a little bit of brakes but not enough to stop at the same speed that I was stopping at. Um, I was coming up to the car in front of me pretty quickly and you know I don't honestly don't remember exactly everything that happened but I got really close to hitting the car in front of me and I swerved to the left and I pulled up the e-brake and I was able to stop in the left turn lane before the red light. Well, well before the red light there was probably like seven cars in front of me so that kind of shows you how much room I had to stop. Nobody was in the left turn lane. If there was one or two cars in left turn lane, I would not have hit them. Um, I stopped basically right next to the car that was in front of me. Super scary. I hope that never happens to me again. And it was completely my fault. I don't know if I explained this very well before, but I had the DX brake lines with Integra steering knuckles. So the brake lines don't have anywhere to bolt to. Integra brake lines are different. So I just had them zip tied to the steering knuckle to keep them out of the way from the wheels. And when I replaced the axle, I forgot to zip tie that one brake line and it rubbed against the wheel and it bursts. So now what I have are some Russell brake lines. As you can see, they're uh, stainless steel. They're really nice. They're DOT approved. They're for an SI. So they'll work with the Integra knuckles and they'll work for my rear disc brake swap as well. But um, for right now, for today, I'm just going to be putting the fronts on the car. Oh, and I, I got these on eBay. I don't have a, a link to my purchase because I bought the last ones from that seller. They were selling them really cheap. I got these for 80 bucks for the set of four, which is, if you know, like name brand stainless steel brake lines, that's really cheap. They're usually over $100 for a set of four. So if you look, I do still have brake fluid in there, so I should be able to bleed just the fronts which is good because the bleeder on the wheel cylinder in the back right is busted and I don't want to replace it because I'm doing the disc swap. So I don't want to have to bleed those. Um, I mean, worst case scenario, then I have to replace the wheel cylinder, which I will do. But there's still some fluid in there. That's really good. Another thing that I want to show you is I did go to the junkyard the other day and I picked up a one inch master cylinder with the brake booster off of an ABS Integra. Now, one thing I do have to say is this brake booster is huge. And I don't believe 
this will bolt up the same. So I do believe I have to use this big brake booster. You can see how small that one is compared to it. It does fit in here. It'll fit in here no problem. I might have to take out this box to fit it in there and then bolt this box back in, but that's fine. Yeah, as you can see, this one, the bolts are like straight left and right. On this one, this is actually how it sits and they're more up and down. So this master cylinder won't, bro won't bolt onto that brake booster, so I gotta swap out the brake booster too. But that's cool, that should give me a really nice brake pedal. Um, oh, I should also mention that I'm not using stock brakes. Um, I'm doing Type R brakes in the front and EP3 brakes in the back. I'm gonna do that Frankenstein brake setup again. So it'll be the same uh, really nice braking power, but with big disc brakes in the back too. I do need a proportion, a, a proportioning valve. This guy, I have the 3040 one in here, the stock one. I mean, technically you don't need one. A lot of people say that you can run these with disc brakes in the back, but it's better just to get it. I'm gonna try to get one within the next couple of days, and let's get let's get to work. So as you can see, that's where it rubbed through. Pretty bad, it's obviously, you know, it took a long time to rub through. I rubbed through this thicker part right here. And um, and it's all because this won't bolt up to here with, with these brake lines. So I was zip tying them to here to hold them out of the way of the wheel. Um, I didn't zip tie them and it rubbed on the wheel for like two weeks and that's what happened. So now, Luckily, it's only leaking if I, like, bend it, so I didn't lose too much brake fluid. Obviously, I lost brake fluid when I would hit the brakes, but I still had, like, some brakes. Now we're just going to go ahead, undo this line from here, undo it from there, and replace the line. So I just realized, I'm pretty sure I threw out the bracket that bolted up to those, so I'm not going to be able to bolt right up to these. I might make my own bracket or something like that for now and then grab the correct one when I go to a junkyard later or I might just zip tie them again. I'm not entirely sure. Um, but as you can see, these, you know, these are the wrong ones. How it, it bent back like that and rested against the caliper. It's not supposed to be like that. And I'll show you with the new one exactly how it is. To undo these, you can see right here. This is a clip right on top here that's got to pop out. You can get it out with the screwdriver and then that will get this loose. And then uh, you can just turn this nut on top while holding this bottom one to undo this brake line. So you got to do both of those things. I think I might break this nut loose first before I undo this just to try to make it a little bit easier. And then down here there's just a bolt that holds it in right there and that's gonna come undone very easily because I've had it undone before. I know this is not the best view and I'm terribly sorry but this is about as good as I can get. <laughs> So it's uh, in there now and tightened up. As you can see, this kind of lines up right here. I could just put a, a bolt in one of those holes and then it kind of wraps around back there and back up. I think that's actually okay. Um, I don't think that's gonna hurt anything because this is kind of gonna stay in place. In fact, all of this is gonna be lifted up. So I don't know, it's kind of hard to say. I might just have to get the bracket and let it sit more like this, maybe that'll be better. But I'm not sure. Should be okay though, either way, I think. We'll find out. One thing I don't like is that's pretty loose in there. I don't think it really matters, but yeah, before it was tight there, now it's loose. Everything's in though, we should be good to go. I 
So really quick, because I don't have too much time, I gotta get going. Um, you can see I ended up bolting it up right there. And we tested it. You know, it kinda gets pretty close to that strut. But at ride height, it doesn't even touch it. Um, it's actually further away from it at ride height, and it doesn't touch even when it's aired out, it doesn't pinch or anything. And it allows me to turn just like that and everything. So that's how we're gonna leave it, just bolt it up just like that. And it's gonna work great. And I bolted up the other side too. The bleeders are completely stuck, so I soaked them in penetrating oil. We're gonna let it sit overnight and then try again tomorrow. All right, I apologize for how short of an episode this is. I forgot to show us bleeding the brakes, but we went ahead and bled the brakes after I got both of the lines replaced. And uh, now it's all good to go. So I'm gonna go ahead and continue driving it. Pretty soon here, we're gonna be doing the upgrade to the uh, Integra Type R brakes all around. I have almost everything that I need. I just ordered a proportioning valve online because I can't find one at a junkyard near me. So all I need is the e-brake cables. Yeah, e-brake cables, calipers, pads, and rotors. And we are good to go. So we're gonna go ahead and start uh, start on that, get these rear trailing arms cleaned up. But that's gonna be it this for, that's gonna be it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Peace out.